This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell Hello full peeps Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers Subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers and subscribers So we know the IPL is over But we still have a couple more videos to tie in certain things right And in this one we are going to be taking a look at the team of the tournament according to Wisden. And we know that Wisden is, you know, well-renowned, world-renowned for their cricket commentary and all of that. So we're going to be looking at, at, at what they had to say. And, you know, a lot of team, team of the tournaments out there, Crick Buzz, Crick Tracker, Crick Info. But I'm going to be using Wisden's own, right? But before we go down into that, just going to ask you to get that golden rule out of the way which is to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and drop a comment. All right, my viewers, so let's go straight into it without any further ado. Now, at number one, they have Shaw, right? And, you know, he played very well for Delhi Capitals. And we're talking about 15 matches, you know, scoring over 479 runs and a high score of 82 at an you know he scored at an average of 31.93 and a strike rate of 159.13 so he is the first member of the opening um pair the next one we have guy quad right the the youngster from csk and i must say that he is really you can call him the breakout player of the tournament played extremely well talking about 16 matches getting 635 runs uh, with a high score of 101 not out that century that he scored was very very good very well put together you understand and you know his average 45.35 and you know a strike rate of 136.26 now occupy, occupying the vital number three role we have KL Rahul and you know he's the Punjab skipper Played 13 matches, getting 626 runs with a top score of 98 not out. An average of 62, really, 0.6. And a strike rate of 138.80. So another stunning season or tournament by, by Raul. Just too bad that his team wasn't able to go all the way. But, you know, it was a go good tournament um, from, from the big man. At number four, we have Sanjo Samson. Another player coming out of India, you know, doing extremely well. You understand? And, um, you know, he, he would have played for the Rajasthan Royals. And in 14 matches, he would have scored 484 runs with a high score of 119. An average of 40.33 and a strike rate of 136.72. So he wasn't playing around. He really did well. He occupies the number four slot. At number five, they have a, well, you can call it an overseas player. This in Glenn Maxwell. And, you know, another good season for, for RCB. In 15 matches, he had 513 runs with a high score of 78 and an average of 42.75. Lovely strike rate also, strike rate of 144.10. And, you know, as you know, he also contributed well with the ball, pick, picking up three wickets. So he occupies the number five slot. And now to another overseas player representing the West Indies, Shemran Hetmeyer. Yeah, man, a good enough season for Hetmeyer. You know, we know representing DC in 14 matches. He had a total of 242 runs with a high score of 53 not out. Average of 34.57. Strike rate of 168.05. Played some good, good knocking up. Played some good innings. You understand? And he also won the, the, the striker of the tournament. You know, I, I also saw where a couple of persons were saying that any teams, any team that picks up Hetmeyer next tournament should try and bat him at number 3, 4. Give him some time to bat. You understand? So it seems as if they are seeing some good stuff from Hetmeyer. Yeah, man, he played some good cameos for, for DC. Now, at number seven, you know, they have Ravindra Jadeja, another Indian, you know, um, representing CSK. 
and in his 16 matches, he scored 227 runs uh, with a high score of 62 not out an average of a uh, healthy average. I think it was a, that would have been an average of 75 or somewhere there about strike rate of 145, you know, and he, he, he had he had around about 13 wickets with an economy rate of 7.06. So another good tournament um, from, from Jadeja, you understand? And at number eight, another overseas player, Sunel Narain, you know, representing KKR, Another West Indian, you know, 16 matches. I uh, got a best of 4 for 21, average of 22.56, economy rate of 6.44. So West Indies having two out of the three overseas players that made this team of the tournament. And before I give you the, the rest, guys, just bear in mind while we're going through you know, that um, this, this list was pulled down from the Wisden uh, website, so you can check it out for yourself. At number nine, we have Hashal Patel, and he represented RCB, talking about 32 wickets. Yeah, man, best of five for 27, average of 14.34, economy rate of 8.14. And I think he also tied the record, Bravo's record, that is. At number 10, they have Avish Khan, you know, another DC representative. Uh, he had a representative, he had a, a good tournament. Also, I think around about 24 wickets, best of 3 for 13, average 18.75, economy rate of 7.37. Uh, you know, got, I think he, he, he got the nod over, over Boomer. Boomer's figures, you know, similar to his, but he got the nod. And running, to, running off the, the number 11 spot, they have Chaka Varthi, played very well alongside Sunil Narayan, picked up 18 wickets, uh, his best figure, 3 for 13, average 24.88 with an economy rate of 6.58. So Chikavarti there getting in did pretty well. You understand it wasn't easy to get away at all. You know, so he, he, he is there. So those are the players, my viewers and subscribers, that we then decided would have made the team of the tournament. I'm not sure if you guys are going to want to, you know, put your team of the tournament together. But the comment section is open. You can go ahead and let me know if you agree with this list or if you have any other player that you would want to drop into this team of the tournament. Another thing that I must say is, you know, I am extremely happy to see that we, we had about two, we, well, we had two West Indies um, representatives getting into that team of the tournament. You know, if we look at it, only three overseas players made it. And, you know, Sunil Narayan, Hetmeyer and Glenn Maxwell, you know, so it was extremely good for us to have those in there. But as we continue, my viewers and subscribers, we just want to, you know, continue our build up to the World Cup. We just hope that all these players finish fit. You know, sometimes you play, you, you, we had a couple of players in the in the finals, you know, and sometimes you come out of a final and you might think you are doing good, and then you know. A couple of hours after you find that something happened, but the adrenaline rush was taking you through. We had, well, it was only Bravo we had there because Narayan isn't going to be there and Russell didn't play. So hopefully everybody is fit and ready to go. But yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, gonna leave this one right here for now. Sports to the bone, keep you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. And my wonderful peeps, please remember to tell a friend, to tell a friend about the movement. Big up on yourself.